Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. I really wish we had four wheel turning. Oh, oh, this is a messy run. I'm back up and oh, we have really screwed this one up. Yep, I just Komodoed it. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic, and yes folks, we are back, and we are back with something new. So as you can see right here on the menu, we have a new mode, and it is called Challenge Mode. Now do keep in mind, this is merely a test, it's in the test branch, uh, you'd have to opt into it to receive this Challenge Mode, and it is simply three challenges. Now you probably ask yourself, what is Challenge Mode? Well, a while back, uh, Scrap Mechanic devs announced that there's going to be, of course, survival, but there was this added challenge mode, which is just these sets of challenges. Uh, you try to get the best time, and I'm assuming there's going to be a leaderboard or something. So I thought we'd go ahead and try this out here today, let you guys know that this is available. And I'm actually really excited because, honestly, I've been waiting for something new in Scrap Mechanic. It's been a while. I got tired of just the old creative mode. So, we're gonna jump right into this here today. If you guys are excited for challenge mode, maybe hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section below. Is this enough to hold you off until survival? But yeah, let's jump into it. All right, so we have the test challenge pack. Now, I did complete challenge one just to see what it was. Uh, you're not gonna miss much here. I'm gonna go back and do it again. Uh, it's really just a pretty straightforward challenge. So you have three in total, and let's see what this is gonna be like. Ah, here we are, challenge mode. Now, this is actually really cool. So you're probably asking, well, what exactly is challenge mode? And I'm assuming that a lot of these are going to be different. Uh, this first one appears to be just a point A to point B. So in challenge mode, I'm assuming it's going to want you to build, uh, which the first one, I don't think you really have to. Uh, so we're supposed to take this cart here and drive it all the way down to the other box. Now, over here... Uh, you have a board and this will let you know which uh, materials you would have if you have to build and over here is a little box where you can grab said materials so another thing that's a little freaky look at this we actually have like a little robot is this a uh, farm bot or i don't know he just looks like educational bot or something looks like he's ready to uh, write me up for something but anyways let's go ahead and get on to the challenge so the first one is really straightforward get to point a or go from point a to point b uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and jack the engine up one. All right, we're gonna hop into here. Three, two, one, go. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, that's why they have the engine set like that. Well, that was rather embarrassing. Oh, let's reset. Okay, so we're gonna crank that down one. So I think we're at the max that we can go here. All right, three, two, one, hold it wide open. Oh boy. Oh boy. No steering input. I'll have to put a little bit of input. No, 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 no. Are you serious? Wow, Komodo is making a straight line really hard. Oh, what was that? Something sounded really disappointing to me. Maybe it was myself. All right, three, two, one, go. All right. Oh, and boom. There we go. 3.1. Uh, that's actually straightforward, and that's a little creepy with all the little dancing people. Hmm. I kind of feel like we can be a little bit faster. What if we start further back in the box? All right, let's go a little further back. That way we can get a, uh, a running start here. Okay, so obviously we can't crank this thing up. Can I modify this? No, I think it actually gets mad if we modify this without having build materials. All right, let's just go ahead and try this one more time. And boom. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. A little bit faster. There we go. Two tenths faster. Uh, that's not bad. So, one last thing. What happens if we actually cut this apart? Does the game get mad? Do we get the parts back? So if I go, actually, can I? There we go. Oh, look at that, you actually get the parts back. Wait a minute, is there a way to make this potentially faster? What if we were to move the engine up towards the front? Would that weigh that down? Hold on, we, we might have a potential to go faster here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go front wheel drive. Uh, we'll move this up like this. It's bad that we're spending this much time on a straight line, but I think this is gonna be good. What if we go all wheel? Will that actually make this faster? Let's go ahead and go like that, and let's go up to... Oh, no, 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 I just did a noob thing. I didn't hook up the engine to the seat. Okay, we're gonna test this. Three, two, one, go! Oh, boy. All right, are we gonna be faster? Boom, check that out! That is quite a bit faster! Okay, 2.2. Is there anything else that I think we could do? Maybe we'll go one up on the engine. Okay, I'm curious. If I unhook the back wheels, uh, can we go up a couple on the engine? Let's try this real quick. All right, three, two, one, go. 
Uh, this doesn't feel faster. No, this is definitely way slower. All right, so pretty much we have to keep all the wheels hooked up. All right, so we're going to push it a little bit faster. I'm going to try to see if I can get going here. Yeah, I think this is going to be okay. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, are you serious? Okay, so I think we found the sweet spot. Definitely uh, engine set down a couple marks, and that should be it. You know, I think I'm going to be happy with that 2.2. All right, here we are. So we're on to the next challenge. Now, this one's a little bit different. Uh, looks like we actually have some turns here. Ooh, is there guardrails down there? Can we skip parts of the course? No, there's a guardrail right there. All right, so this one actually has you building. So you can see up here there's wood and bearings. I don't think that's how many wood blocks you get. Yeah, there's actually 16 here, four bearings, and two wheels. So obviously this is an incomplete cart. So what we're going to want to do here, we need to make it steer, of course. But I think we're going to use the same trick as the last challenge. So if we cut that off, we get that. And we're going to use this to actually uh, put the engine in the front, make it a little heavier in the front. And hopefully uh, handle better. Okay, so we're going to put a block here, block here. Let's go. That's going to be your turning bearing. And your steering is going to be here and here. Question is, why do they give you so many blocks? I feel like I'm not utilizing everything that I should. Huh, let's move this uh, these arms out just a wee bit here. Let's go there and there. So we'll have our turning here. Okay, so we have engine in the front. We could add even more front weight if we want to, but I'm not really sure that's going to be useful. So something like that. Uh, let's go ahead, hook up engine here. And we're going to go with the all wheel like we did on the last one. And we'll see if we can get through this course. Uh, maybe I'll add a couple more blocks to the front of it. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I can add six blocks to this. Let's just add a little front end piece. Like that. Okay, let's go ahead and test this real quick. Okay, it still wants to flip. So let's go down one on the engine. Alright, so midways. Okay, that feels good there. Uh, turning does happen. So I think we're ready to go here for a run. Alright, so it's going to be a quick zigzag here. So three, two, one. Let's do this. Okay, a little jump here. Oh, you know what? You do not want to get air on that. Uh, you actually want to try to keep down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on. Wait a minute. I really wish we had four-wheel turning. Oh, oh, this is a messy run. I'm back up. And, oh, we have really screwed this one up. Yep, I just Komodoed it. All right, let's reset. Okay, so that one started off pretty bad. Let's go a little slower this time. There we go. That way we can get down. Let's try to skip the course a little bit here. This, uh, whatever this is, this metal feels pretty slick. There we go. No, are you serious? Uh, oh, man, 11.5. I know for sure I can do better there. Uh, let's go ahead and reset. I didn't win anything. So I'm hoping they're going to have a rating system soon, uh, like a probably a bronze, silver, gold. Uh, that would be pretty cool. That and the leaderboards would be nice. All right, here we go one more time. Let's go up and up. Oh, okay, speed, speed. Okay, turn. Turn, okay, turn, skip, turn, come on, turn, uh, there we go, 8-4, I will take that, I don't think I'm going to get much better than that, that is awesome, alright, let's go to the next challenge, okay, so the next challenge is what, uh, what is this, let's see, winners read the handbook, um, okay, hold on, let's look at the little screen over here, uh, what am I looking at? Okay, there's something down there, hon. Okay, so what if I walk out this way? Uh, this appears to be... What is this thing? Is this a button? I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, okay, well, let's just take a guess as to what they want me to do. All I saw on that board was a controller and a piston and wood. What does that mean? Okay, so I actually do have... Okay, I've got car pieces in here. So obviously we're building some sort of car, but question is, what is the actual objective? Wait a minute, I think I understand it. Okay, so we're going to drive down. Uh, down here. I think we need to poke that button. So we're going to drive down. We're going to slide an arm under here. Adjust a piston. It's going to poke the button. And I don't really know what happens beyond that, but I'm assuming a platform... Or something grazes to where we can get over there. 
Okay, so this is actually a pretty legit build challenge over here. Uh, maybe that platform there, we have to drive back up and over a bridge. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so I have a basic car built here. So, I'm assuming it wants us to stick the finger and click the button. So, we need a piston that goes out. Uh, let's see. Let's attach it. How low is that? I think it's... Uh, hold on. Can I stick the finger down here? I think the finger is too tall. So, yeah. How's it going to slide in there? Hmm. Okay, I think I've got this figured out. So, we're going to have to have the finger sideways. We're going to have to turn it and have the two pistons reach out and then reach up. So, it's all going to take a controller. So, let's go ahead and stick our controller behind the seat here. And uh, we should be, should be about good to go. So, let's go ahead. Let's make the arm here. So, we're going to go one piston out. This will be the turning. So, we'll turn it like that. Uh, we'll go block, we'll go piston, we'll go finger. I think that's going to be right. So, it gave me three buttons, though. I think we could just really activate this in one. Okay, if I hit this button here, what happens? Okay, that goes out the wrong way, but that's a start. Oh, let's go here. We might have to slow this down and space it a bit. So, let's go ahead. We're going to reverse this. So, what happens when we do this? So, boom. Okay, that should, in theory, hit the button. Problem is, we're going to have to delay that controller a little bit. So, let's do the 90 here. Uh, let's not do this all at the same time. So, go 0, and then we'll do a 15 on the other side. Okay, let's try this one more time here. Let's go 1. Okay, so that would go in. Turn. This feels a little bit slow. And boop on the button. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this up one more. Let's go about right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and confirm steering. Uh, why does steering not work? What the heck did I do wrong there? Oh, I guess I unhooked them. All right, so steering is hooked up. Uh, let's go with the uh, four-wheel drive, and we should be good to go to try this challenge. All right, three, two, one, let's do this. Okay, so we're going to slide under here. Oh, up, 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 up. Okay, be careful, be careful. Get ready to hit the one key. So let's go, boom. Is that far enough? Come on. And boop. There we go. Oh, oh, let me have that back. Wait, why is it going this way? Uh, did that? Okay, there it is. All right, so it lifted it. I'm trying to drive back. No, 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 no. No, I need to grab this. All right, can I? Oh, can you not put the lid? Oh, man. So if you flip, you're done. But yeah, that's it. That's definitely the uh, solution here. All right, let's reset. All right, here we go. Let's go down here. Okay, be easy on it. Okay, boom. Let's slide in. All right, hit the front. Uh, come on, finger. Okay, <laughs> this looks funny. There we go. Okay, get that back. Uh, slide in. Probably could speed that controller up quite a bit. Okay, let's try not to flip here. Let's go backwards. Oop, up, 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 up. Okay. I don't know if this is really the fastest, but let's go ahead. All right, 24 seconds. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Are you serious? I almost fell off there. Okay, boom. All right, that wasn't bad. 33.6. I'm going to reset that one more time. Uh, we're going to go with the faster controller. And I don't think I can up my speed any because uh, once you up it, it gets to where it wants to flip. So let's try this one more time without the hiccup. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. All right. Be easy, easy, easy. Okay. Go through. Skid a little bit. Ah, are you serious? Uh, I might as well go ahead and reset. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. And shooting through. What was that sound? Why did it sound like something broke there? All right, here we go. Let's go extend that. There we go. Get that in. Boop. Okay, that's good. Let that come out. All right, let's speed back. Uh, oop, there we go. All right, we're going to shoot this way. This is so fun. Uh, why was this not already in the game? <laughs> now nah, I can't understand why it wasn't. All right, let's go up here. Okay, let's shoot over to the side. Come on, she just straight run, straight run. Here we go. Yes. Uh, we'll take the 32. That was a little bit faster in our last run. I'm pretty sure you can go even faster. And some people probably will. But that's actually pretty awesome. But yeah, I think that's it. So if I go to finish, what happens? Oh, just kicks me out to the main menu. So, there it is. That is the test mode here. Uh, hopefully, we get some more challenges really soon because it's actually pretty fun. Gives me a reason to go back and kind of play the game. So, let me know what you guys think. Will that hold you over until survival comes out? But yeah, 
Thank you guys for all the love and support. I do apologize if I still sound a little weird. Uh, still getting over my sinus infection, but hopefully I'll be uh, back to 100% here real soon. But yeah, thank you guys, and we will see you guys next time.